Hey students, welcome to my channel to learn with Tanet. Today we discuss a topic from computer organization and architecture. Here we learn the computer architecture and organizational behavior. Before that, first we discuss some features of computer system and their components and how they work. Then let's start with what is computer. What exactly a computer is? A computer is a programmable electronics device. Only the laptop, desktop is said to computer? No. All the programmable electronics devices are called computer. Like a robot, mobile, bike motors, calculators. All are also called computers. Because they accept some input data or raw data, process this data with set of instruction and give result as our requirement. It works with set of instruction. What is set of instruction? It means user give some step by step instruction to computer for execution the operation or to solve the problem. Like if we want to add two numbers like A and B then we give instruction to the computer to add these numbers and so the results. What can computer do? A computer take the value of A and B, run with give step by step instruction and display the result to the users. We also call program if set of instruction written in a programming language like C, C++ or Java. Computer is combination of both hardware and software. Without hardware we can't we use a software part or Without software, hardware is not a computer. We use computer to execute some applications as our requirements like Chrome, MX Office, VLC Media Player and others. Computer makes our job become easier. So in today's life, maximum to maximum, we de depend on computer. But computer does not understand our English language. So the CPU convert the input data or instruction into the machine level language, which is comfortable for computer runs. Computer convert our input data into a string of binary digit because computer is comfortable in 0-1 format data. Computer convert the input data in given instruction into the binary format with the help of CPU or processor. Computer also has a large storage space, storage input data program and output results. It has enough space to store user data like emails, files, documents, video permanently. In many fields like business world, educational, medical also use computer to storing their backup data. Computer can store data temporarily or permanently as user's requirement. Next. We discuss some basic part of computer without which a computer can't work. Here we discuss some basic part like processor, memory, then motherboard and etc. Let's start with processor. Processor is the brain of computer with good reason. It is a hardware unit. It interrupts the instruction and drive a program. Without a processor, computer could not run program. We also called CPU, central processing unit to the processor. Then another basic part is memory. We mainly use memory in two different works. First is to store the data and to communicate the processor with the storage device. If any data present in memory, then processor can access directly. But if any data presently present in external storage device like hard drive, pen drive, then computer memory can transmit it to as processor requirement. Next, a motherboard. It is the part connect all other parts or component of computer. Motherboard is a circuit board which their number of components are connected like RAM, ROM, processor, hard drive and all. It is the main hardware component of computer. It holds some electronics components as a computer requires. It also allows to communicate with different components. Here all the components are connected with a cable and wires. Next, storage device. 
Computer have so many storage device like hard drive, pen drive, CD, floppy disk. Storage device are also hardware unit used for storing data permanently. They may they may be internal or external to the computer. The internal storage device allow the data and application to be loaded very rapidly into the memory. It is always ready to use and access time is less. But the external device used for permanently storage and backup data. Another basic part is input device. Keyboard is the main input device used for given instruction to computer. Through computer, we give step by step instruction to the computer for solving the problems. Although mouse, microphone, digital camera, joystick, user used for communicate with the computer. These are the equipment used to provide data and control signal to computer. Last one is output device. It uh, enable you to see the output or give information to user. Output device are also hardware components. It convert the information into user readable form. It can be text, graphics, audio and video form. Some example of output device are monitor, printer, speaker which directly gives information as a result to user.